you know, especially after the year that we just had. So, all right, so topic number two, which is, uh, I, I heard this a lot, like 2019 and 2020, which is Black Men Don't Cheat. I don't know if that was like a joke or, <laughs> or what. Like, I think the first Black men we knew to cheat, the first set of Black men that we knew for sure cheat is either your daddy or your uncle, you know. Um, I, I know my uncle for sure because I had like a lot of aunties at the same time, you know, a lot of them at the same time. So uh, Daniel, as a Black man, uh, is this true? Black men don't cheat? Is that true? Or is that just a board game or just a t-shirt? Like, or is it's just a hashtag. It's a t-shirt. Okay. Of course it's true. <laughs> Black men don't cheat. Come on, Daniel. We, we count on you. <laughs> we count on you. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> this is all I can say on this conversation is like I said about four episodes ago. <laughs> I can't speak for nobody else. I can speak for myself. And as a black man, I've never cheated on anybody in a day of my life. Okay. I hold that same standard to everybody else. And I don't, you know, I, I don't believe <laughs> that, uh, you know. So this is based off your personal experience that, of course, black <laughs> men don't cheat because I don't cheat. But yeah, now, no. Now, I, now I, we're know. not going to have any women in my inbox saying, he a damn lie. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I, let me tell you thing, this. Man. I'm going to be, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Hey, stop playing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, there's been many bad apples in the in the, the bunch of goodness that is the, the basket of black men. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I feel like every, every every group of person has that that type of person that just messes everything up. So I'm gonna say yes. Realistically, yes, they do. Okay. I say they do because me as a black man don't cheat, but there are black men that cheat. Okay, so we got Shuznak said Clint Coley came up with that with the black men don't cheat ordeal he's a comedian yeah it had to be a comedian it had to be funny because yeah. uh, like i said like i know that i had i had like three aunties at one time you know three yeah yeah and that's a whole nother topic because i hate like moms that like uh condone that type of stuff like you got one girlfriend that comes to the cookout and you got one girlfriend that comes to the sunday dinner and then you got the other girlfriend that oh yeah they don't say nothing they just nothing and then they'd be like, oh, I love his mama. His mama is so mm -hmm. good. <laughs> I, I'm not cut sweet potato pie off the damn table. <laughs> not the pie. The pie. All right, so, uh, Courtney, how do you feel about uh, black men don't cheat? <laughs> I, um... It's the laugh for me. <laughs> it's like, do I got stories for y'all? I, I don't have any stories. I don't have any stories. I, that, well, that, that you know that you can Of mine. I don't okay. have any stories of mine. But um, of course, black men cheat. <laughs> I mean, what's it called? That's what it's a headline in uh, news every day and social media. It's always somebody cheating. Uh, <clears throat> Quavo. But. Um, <laughs> Of course, uh, black men cheat. Um, but I mean, women cheat too, right? Uh, or supposedly, allegedly. You know what? That's you know, what I should have used. I should have said allegedly. <laughs> you know, it just hit me with the meat because the reason why we're bringing up this topic is because, you know, popular Quavo and Sweetie, you know, uh, she just announced, I made her iOS press release that, you know, she. He cheated and she's not here for it. Like Daniel, Daniel said he's one and done, but she held on a little bit longer. You know, she said behind the scenes, she can't, you know, keep doing this, this type of betrayal. Mm -hmm. So Courtney just said Quavo and I, it hit me, okay, offset with Cardi B. And it just hit, I was like, wait a minute, it's three of them little motherfuckers with Inamigo. So it's offset, mm -hmm. Quavo, you know who ain't cheated? Take off. I heard, I don't know if they was just trying to be funny or not, but I saw a tweet on Twitter where it said Offset, or is it Take Off, it was Offset, Cheater, Quavo, Cheater, Take Off, Private Cheater. 
Clearly. I was about to say, you, like, clearly he just ain't got caught on his girl. He don't care. <laughs> but you know what? The thing about it, he's never in the public. Ever. He is like, he, he is, is nothing like, about he, take off. He get his money and he yeah. is like out of here. Like, did the check clear? All right, I see y'all back at the cookout. Like, he yep. don't care about none of that fame or none of that stuff. Like, I like him. Like, I don't even know him, but that's how I would be if I was famous. I, I damn sure plan on being like that. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Marie, I like take off too. Like he's, he's like so to himself. Like you know, but also uh, the Derek Jacks Jackson guy, that's been publicly so Derek Jackson. You know, that's the relationship guy, the guy who black men hate because he's oh. telling women, you know. But he just got caught up in his own little scandal, and what happened? Did he really? That? Yeah, the back a background with that is um. He was pretending like, you know, him and his wife was getting separated, which I, I've never followed him because I don't buy into the bullshit. You know, I knew, you know, I'm trying, I got PSTD about black men, and, well, men, period. Uh, full of shit. But anyway, um, so when he was like, oh, don't do this, and women, you need to do this, and I'm like, I'm not listening to him. First off, he looked too good. Women dream, are dreamy over him, you know, so that means he got pussy galore like women throwing their bras and candies at him and ain't like he ducking and dodging them like the matrix or some type of shit you know like no i knew he was out here fucking drink. so sure enough uh he was lying to a friend uh she said that you know they've been knowing each other off and on for 10 years not that they've been sleeping together for off and on for 10 years but they've known each other for 10 years um even in the midst of his marriage like she um gave proof that you know video proof like she had receipts uh that you know while he was married, he asked her, like, what kind of drawers you got on? What kind of panties you got on? And he's like, no, for real. Like, what kind of, like, I'll send y'all, like, the videos and stuff, like, behind the scenes or whatever. But he was so disrespectful that he flew her and her friend down to his home while his and wife was out of town, fucked her in him and his wife's bed. And so the, the person that was interviewing her was like, so... You didn't know he was married. She's like, no, I knew he was married, but he told me he was in the process of getting a separation. So when I went to his house, you know, his, her, her pictures and stuff and the kids stuff was up, but she did see moving boxes. So it, to her, it was like, okay, I see you this all about this. Right, right. It's legit. Yeah. And then also, what guy would be dumb enough to bring me to his house and, you know, freak me in his, him and his wife's bed? Wow. Derek him apparently. <laughs> yeah, him. Um, and then you know she, you know she uh provided more proof, you know, like with her and her friend, um, which which come into the uh the third question about wingman because he had her come bring a friend down, so he had a friend for her friend, you know, right? Uh, and so she got like videos, she got pictures, she got you know, and but what happened was after that she was like she she went back home, she stayed for like a weekend, then she went back home, and then he contacted her. And she was like, uh, he was like, hey, um, let, let's just move our conversation to Snapchat. And y'all know I don't have Snapchat, but from my understanding, stuff disappeared within 24 hours. And so she said, she was like, that's kind of strange, but okay. Because he was like, oh, she's coming back home from out of town. She was like, I thought y'all were separate. He's like, yeah, but I just don't want any kind of confusion or whatever. I hear a little bit of whining. I think you got to go you know? to the bathroom. And so she was like, a couple of days later, she realized that he blocked her from every social media outlet. And so she was like, no, this can't be right. And you know how, Courtney, you know how us women, we do our PI private investigation. So if I can't get up here, you know, I'm contacting you. Like, girl, go ahead and type in daddy, right, man. Right, right. You know, so when she did that, it was, it was, it was deleted. Like he deleted it again, but that was the friend that she actually went down. You know, he flew down with her for his friend. So they went to another person page and that's when they realized that he blocked both of them. <laughs> He blocked both of them from all his social media. And then that's when, a couple of days later, that was when he posted uh, him and his wife, which everybody says out of all the years he's been on social media and doing like this coaching for women, and he's never oh, posted okay. anything. About his, his wife, his child, nothing. They say all the closest you think you'll get to his personal life is the fact that he has a car seat in the back of his car, you know. And so she was like, this guy just flew me down, had sex with me, me and my friend, he had a friend for my friend and then all of a sudden he blocked me didn't even say anything he didn't say like this is where the honesty part come in like if you mean if you just tell a woman like look 
Remember how I keep kind of going through it? All right, she's not freaking me the way I want to. I'm just looking for something on the side. Can you can you sign this piece of paper and make it, keep it between me and you? Versus just lying, being like, oh, we're separated. She's out of town. She's moving out of here. I've emotionally left the relationship. First off, men don't even have feelings like that. Tell me emotionally. It's up with you. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? I wasn't even about to say nothing. Like. <laughs> I didn't want to be attacked. <laughs> no, and he's talking about emotionally left the relationship or whatever. And I'm like, come on, get out of here. So that's when she made a decision. She was like, bump this. She's letting the world know because she didn't like how he treated her as a human being. But for him to be still married and sleeping with his, his wife and her and whomever else, she's like, no. And he preaching the gospel like, women, you shouldn't settle for this. Women, you shouldn't. She said, hell no. Nah. So, you think that's why she did it? I mean, her feelings were hurt. You know, remember when my feelings got hurt? Remember, listen, remember when Spartan Bird crushed me? And I was like, remember I called you? I was like, should I tell his wife? Like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> and you told me no. And I was like, you want to tell that woman on her birthday? At least wait till the next day. <laughs> hurt my feelings <laughs> but you ain't have to ruin a woman's birthday but, I, my, but my thing is i feel you like she know that he was a cheater money. anyway so i don't feel like my birthday got ruined remember like the day after my birthday on the way to my birthday luncheon i got a anonymous phone call with a woman telling me my friends with benefits situation was a whole different person like i was catfish like i don't even know who that was <laughs> like different age different name different kids i was like what the fuck you know I sh so do you think i was reflecting my pain on her like like just being like you know what if i'm going down but i, you I told you you were what, there's nothing wrong with that my thing is is the only reason you wanted to tell her is because you felt hurt not because you felt like she needed to know you i did feel like she needed to know but here's the no 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 here's the, reason, here's the reason why here's the reason why okay because and I, I'm going back to the situation with with his what's Derek, his name Derek, Derek Jackson. Jackson. Although a, a woman of a, a woman of character, first of all, ain't gonna get flued out and have sex with a married man even if they separate. That's my opinion. Unless 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 like the papers are filed and they're just waiting. What's it? But like. I That's get what kinda... you're saying, Daniel, but believe it or not, a lot of women, because I'm not that woman, like, I don't deal with married men, period. Like, I don't care if you separate it, it's ex right. ex extrange, whatever the word is, uh, divorce. No, right. but a lot of women do that. Like, a lot of women say, oh, remember, because I said the topic about um, uh, Black people divorce, like, you're still legally married, but he over here with his girlfriend, she over here with her boyfriend. Who does that? A lot of people do that. A lot of but what my point is, my point is, she didn't, she didn't say anything until her she got blocked. So now she had the leverage to make the statement, just like you had the leverage That's to it. make the statement, but you wouldn't gonna say nothing. If that woman would have been kept happy, she wouldn't have said nothing. Period. And I don't buy, I don't buy the, the whole, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? They were separated, so that's why I went over there and had sex. I don't buy that. I don't care what nobody says. She knew, even if she thinks they having problems, that don't make it, you know what I'm saying? That don't make it right because they have a problem. So, like, I don't feel like a woman of, right, and I don't feel like a woman of character, an actual woman of character, she wouldn't, she, she hurt. And she probably caught feelings for the man. Of course. And that's the reason why she outed him. Because that's the reason why side chicks out all their men after they get hurt and after they don't get what they want. Tell me I'm lying. Does anybody in the so, top disagree? Do y'all agree that side chicks only become vocal, want to be public after they get their feelings hurt? Yes or no? So are you saying, Daniel, that because you use character, character and respectable, so are you saying if a woman knows a man is married but separated, be it there's documentations being separated or they just verbally saying they're separated, you're saying that the woman should wait until there's a divorce. This is what I'm saying. 
I think the only way, this might not make sense to most, but to make sense in my head, the okay. only way that I would be, um, I ain't gonna say okay with, but the only way that I would be like, okay, that makes sense, is if in, in the off event, this probably would never happen in the history of the world, but in the off event, you had a conversation with the right saying, we are separated. I don't want that man. We just waiting for the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? He can do what he want because I'm doing what I want. Sugar Knox, and why do you is, disagree? You get what I'm saying? Oh, no, I, I feel know like, what you're saying. I, I feel like, and, but that would never, obviously that would never happen. That's you know why, why it would never happen? Because the man wouldn't let it happen because he know he's still fucking around with the wife. Like he know. Right, if it, if, and that's they, what I'm saying. That should like, be a red flag. Right. Listen, that's me. That's me. Let me say, I just got dumped. Not dumped, but I just got floated off. Like, because I was like, oh no, you're not coming to my house. I'm coming to your house. Like, because I want to see, because he made it seem like he was this perfect guy. Like, he's never been married, take care of his kids, da, 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 da. you know, got dogs, which I hate dogs. You know, and just all this other crap. And then I'm like, no, you're not coming to my house. I'm coming to your house. And I literally said this. Back in the day, I used to just keep stuff in my head, like my plotting and planning, but like now I'm grown as fuck and I'm like, I can do what I want to do. So I'm like, no, I'm coming to your house because I want to see who you are if you really disappeared. Now he got phone troubles. Disappeared. Facebook broke? Hmm? His Facebook broke? Girl, no. He, oh, no. He's one, oh, he's one of those, listen, he's one of those men that don't have Facebook. I'm, that I'm person doesn't have mind. Facebook in this day and age. Even if you just want to see the damn news, you know, everybody has Facebook. Even if you don't post, everybody has Facebook because they want to see what they pastor. Because you know, with the COVID and stuff, they pastors have to do the online stuff now. So they go to church online. You know, like everybody has Facebook. So when a man, that's a red flag for me. Which me and Whitney kind of heard the same thing. Like guys be like oh, grown real men which you know we need to get into that topic like real men real men, you know but they be like oh real men don't have a uh, facebook because that's just a gossiping site for women oh uh, no it's a great networking site great marketing tool for free you don't have to pay you for what it you, you, say, gotta pay nothing. you wanted a man that didn't have facebook i know i was brainwashed see ptsd like, you was brainwashed? <laughs> i was brainwashed i was brainwashed like because he had me he was like so dreamy like other than you know the other flaws that he had you know but the the facial stuff whatever you know but i was just like yeah me don't you know what you're right because he was like four well he lied he lied about his age that just be damn they get on my nerves i see well, i ain't gonna say that publicly you see well no i want lg i don't want this video coming back in my life when i'm rich and you know and they try to take me out <laughs> i want to i want to be like a white woman with my fur coat i don't know I don't want them trying to cancel me or whatever. I'll pick it standing outside my uh restaurant trying to pick it me. But, you know. but I I just it's just horrible. But as far as like the Quavo and the sweetie thing, have y'all seen the meme about um oh okay she said because some women, some females really do take the high roads and keep it moving, especially if she did her, her part by him. She can knock him low if she want want to yet. She just literally take the high road it's rare are you saying that about the wife he, like, no i think he's saying, he's saying that about the side chick. Yeah. okay okay and i get that i i totally get that and i wasn't saying all women would you know what i'm saying but come on now what's who's that sugar saying I mean, that because i can't see the, yeah, no, the yeah. come on so what's the ratio of that like let's, yeah, let's I mean, really yeah, yeah. be honest here what's the ratio why why are even for celebrities or non-celebrities why is everybody i have to speak my truth after things don't work out and first off, vocabulary words mean things. High road and keep it moving. There's no high road when you're a side chick. You already, you already low. bottom of the barrel. Like I don't give a fuck if you saying. that you can't be classy and respectable as a side chick. Now you knowingly, didn't know, knowingly talk, and that's another. Yeah, if you yeah. didn't know, you know, which God, if this, if, if if the girl would have came out and said. The woman, I'm sorry, not the girl, but the woman would have came out and said, I honestly didn't know he was married. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. I didn't know, which is impossible because he's he's famous. But like, let's say it's a regular nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm I didn't know he was married. He didn't tell me he was married. He didn't have a ring on when we first met. That's justifiable. You know what I'm saying? Then you can you can even take the high road then. And I would that would make sense. But like half of these women know these men's situation. 
And half of these, I know these men be lying too, but some of I these men be them. telling the doggone truth, like, you know I'm married. <laughs> but I want I've you. I've had I guys like be like, they be like, listen. Listen. We and then they that. still try to, they get their feelings hurt and still try to go, I'm, I'm, I'm just coming to you as a woman because I don't feel right about this after you done got screwed over. But if she was still happy, say for instance, if he never blocked her, right? Right, he never right. blocked her off or nothing. She wouldn't have said nothing. Whether she think he uh, I'm sorry, uh, their dog is eating. By the way, if you hear that, um, but he she wouldn't have said nothing. And that's my point. She out of here because she hurt. And nine ninety percent, eighty five percent of the women around here that knowingly are seeing a man that's either married or with somebody is gonna is gonna come out and 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 play the victim. That's my opinion. Listen, listen, um, I think Daniel said something and I'm going to, um, I can't, I was going to, I can't really implement that in my life because when a guy says that he's married, but separated automatically, I don't go no further. I'd be like, well, all right. But for those of women who have hot, before you open another one. That's, yeah. That's for I, those of you who, who entertain that bullshit, because that's exactly what it is. And I mean, if people who. Uh, either on Facebook or YouTube when y'all replaying this and watching this, if you have any successful side chick stories, put them in the comment section because I want to know, is there a happily ever after for side chicks? You know, um, and the one, now I do know in real life, Marion County, side chicks, grown women who do have the man, they're married, but they're horrible. They're miserable. Like he got side babies and any, you know, outside babies outside of your marriage, which you know, uh, the old folks say you, you how you get them is how you lose them. But some women are still some side chicks are like, oh no, this is my man, I really love him, and that they're still in this relationship with him. Like I know one that's been married for a long time. But anywho, um, but those of you who are watching this to playback and stuff, um, if you if you was a side chick and y'all are married, like he really did divorce his wife and got with you, and y'all are still married, or Divorced the wife, got with you, and then somehow y'all didn't work out. Like, I would like to hear the story, you know? Um, all right. What about the, uh, oh, what Daniel said. Um, just don't, if he says he's separated, but married, ask to talk to the wife to confirm the story. If he says no, that's your answer right there. He lying. He's lying. And if he try to pull that, Oh, she's just evil. She's just mean. Cause like I don't, you know, I just implemented this rule as well. Like when I talk to a guy and if he's his his baby mama is a bitch or you know, he's talking back. I'm not, I'm not condoning that. I'm not, I'm not, no, we're not doing that. So, so I you're like, thinking, well, you have like you're not going to hear like, oh, my ex is a bitch. Like you're thinking, like, what did you do to make her a bitch? Right, right. Cause I'm like, why is she that? Like, why? And nine times out of ten, especially with the kids, like women are okay until you're not financially there like you're not responsible for your children and then that's when guys are oh she's a bitch she's this no like i'm not i'm not i'm just not you know well let me step in right there there are some women that just you know and that the ratio is still there the ratio like i said it's still the ratio but we still can't take into consideration that lower tier ratio of women that a man can try to do everything he can and because he don't want to be with her he can't be with the kids that's a real thing yeah, that I'm not ignoring, I'm not, okay, well, let me edit that. I'm not ignoring that because that is a real thing because I know people that yeah. have went through that. But what I'm saying is when I meet guys and automatically, you know, being brainwashed and they be like, give her brother a chance, even though, so what lets me know that she's probably justified is if I already meet him and he's not working, he doesn't have transportation, he doesn't, uh, he's living with other people like he's just doing like little side gigs because he's like oh i, I don't want to work for the white man i'm working for myself i'm an entrepreneur i'm independent oh uh, bro no you're not when you're going to work for the white man to our uh, hispanic people rather you go clean the horse stables or whatnot like that's still working for somebody else you know but anywho all right so the means that's going around about the quavo it was something about he re he had the car repoed from sweetie how do you feel about that like he was making the payments uh she made her status about you know um this the relationship is over you know behind the scenes he was cheating and i can't deal with it so 
I'm like, I'm okay with him taking the car as a woman, because if I'm not going to pay for it, if you bought it for me as a gift, but it's payments being paid on it. If we're no longer in a relationship, I don't anticipate you still making the payments on it. So, and I'm not going to take up the payments. So come get this shit. I'll just go get me a Kia Sophia or some shit, you know, Ford Focus. Fuck that. So how do you feel about that, Daniel? It's like, if you was with a woman, you bought her a, a charger, payments, $500 a month, which y'all broke up either nicely or non-nicely. Y'all not together no more. Are you still going to make the payments on the car? Get your stuff back. That's just it. I got a I got a friend literally right now going through this. Literally, like right now. Like a man that's doing it or my homeboy, my homeboy bought a car for and got a lease on it for his who he thought was gonna be his wife's son. He was being, you know, a super set dad. Literally they broke up. And it's, I'm not going to, you know, obviously I ain't going to put this whole business out. Well, you don't know who it is anyway. But anyway, um, but he's literally going through that. And I told him, get your stuff back. You have, you are the primary lien holder. And it is messing your credit up. Get your stuff back. So are you saying that they're not together anymore and the mom isn't, isn't responsible or womanly or respectable enough to say, hey, I know we ain't together no more. I know this ain't your child. Tra- can we go to the dealership and let's transfer this over into our name? Or I'll, I'll hand you the cash money, the 350 whatever per month to make sure that it's getting paid for. Like, they didn't do any of that? Look, I don't know the, the necessary, like, okay. details, details. All I know is that um, it's messing him up. And, you know, that's enough for me. When he told me no the keeping, him, keeping him from being able to get something in his own name again because he already has a lien out. You know what I'm saying? With his bank. Most banks don't let you have more than one lien. Right. So my thing is he can't drive the car. He needs another car. You know what I'm saying? Get your stuff back. Well, hold, well, hold on. So would this go along with the the side chick thing, like if they wasn't together, if, if they were still together, would he still be like, would he still be trying to get another car, like another lean? You know what I mean? Or is it, or is it because now that they're separated and now he's trying to get a car of his own, like now it's becoming a problem? I think, again, I don't know all the details. You know okay. what I'm saying? But I think, I think that where the issue lies is it would be easier for if he, say for instance, you got two married people and you got the, the father is like, okay, my baby's turning 16, so I'm going to put a car in my name. I need another car. We're going to go through the same bank. So how about we get a car in your name as my wife for, you know what I'm saying? But now that he's alone, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's different and it's difficult. You know, and even, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Let me say this. I don't care if you can get 50 million cars in your name. I don't care if, if if he got the money to go take something off the lot, cash. I'm getting just call me petty. I'm getting my stuff back. Especially, especially if it's if it's like and, and I think he did it as more of a favor rather than a gift. And I think that's where the lines get crossed. You know what I'm saying? Like if I right. Like for me, for instance, if I bought if I bought my uh, my you know my my girlfriend or my wife some jewelry, I'm not gonna ask for that back. If I bought her some shoes, I'm not gonna ask for that back. If I buy her say a TV as a Christmas gift, I'm not gonna ask for that. Back. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't necessarily for his for his girlfriend. This for her son, who's over eighteen. You know what I'm saying? I did this because I love your mom. But now that that's not, you know what I'm saying? Like just call me crazy. That can be, that may just be me. But how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it, Courtney? Like the car, like is is he justified for repoing the car or taking the car back? Or you look at it like it was a gift, like you're on mute. I think it is kind of um, it's a little petty. 
it's a little petty because you did give that as a gift like at the end of the day regardless like I get what you're saying Danny I really do but like it it was a gift and you gave it to her and it's not like the situation where you bought it for someone you know for her son because I loved your mom and nothing like that you bought it for her because it was you know whatever her birthday and you you loved her or you love her or whatever it's it's a little petty but I mean so I think mean, it's different if he bought the car cash and but he he bought it on lien for her, you said for sweet for sweetie. No, yeah, he yeah, a lien. It's it's still a payment on it. Yeah. So that's what, that's my thing. I'm like, I get that it's a gift, and you're not supposed to be like an Indian giver or whatever, but it's a gift, but it it's not a paid off gift. So even if they're not together, even if it's a gift, right, right. Payments on it. That's 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 where I'm kind of like, don't get me wrong, I still think it's petty. I think it's a little petty because you still did that because you were in a relationship with her. No one could foresee like what was about to happen, right? But I mean, because of that, because you are still making payments on it, you know, your name's still on whatever, I guess it's like whatever. But I mean, when you think about it, like both, like they have money. Like, it's not like it's gonna make it. Like, you ain't just gonna put, 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 buy this thing off the lot, like. Right. Oh, hold on now. What? What? You don't do that with engagement rings. Like people still like regular us, regular human beings. Like what man you know just go and be like, oh, I'm gonna go pay off the engagement. Like he made payments on it. He put it down. Payment. These, these niggas ain't regular though. That's the point me and Courtney making. Right. Like, like, these dudes like these dudes got money. Like, like I'm, so that's like, why when you like there's a payment on it, I'm like, what do you get a Bugatti or something? Like, what is what? But I think the, the car was in, like, Quavo's name. Like, he's responsible for those payments. So this is what happens, and, and that's the reason why I'm glad you said that. But, it would be, oh, go ahead, Courtney, I'm sorry. I was saying, but my thing is, is that, like, like I said, I think it's petty, but my thing is because it is that type of gift, and because of how much money both of them have, like, let's be real, she could be doing this on her own. Right. So him taking back the car shouldn't really even be a big deal. Like, it's, it's not going to be something that she's going to be like, you know what I mean? Like, so like, I mean, with, with the situation that they have going on specifically, like, it's like, it be whatever about the car, because it's not really going to make a difference in her life whatsoever. It's not like if he takes back the car, she ain't going to have no way to get nowhere. <laughs> like, so right. it shouldn't be that big a deal. I, she, has I mean, a dri- I, look, she has a driver anyway. Like, right, 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 right. I just, I do think it's a little petty, but I mean, with the, 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 the tax bracket that they're in, it's really not a big deal. It's not that serious. You know, you know who making a d- big deal about it? Everybody who can't afford them damn payments. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody who can't make those payments. Because I personally, she probably, you know, she can pay because she bought him like a $300,000 watch or something like that. Like, she got the money. And yes. matter of fact, I wonder if, it's, if she's making payments on the watch. It's the same thing as I, I saw, I saw. I saw somewhere, it was, I don't know who it was, this girl, I guess she was making a joke out of it, but she posted on Facebook, she's like, I got money, but I want to spend his money. Like, and it's just like, okay, I understand where your mindset is, but like, me thinking as a man who's- You understand that? I understand it in a bad way. Like, I understand what she's saying. Not, not I get it and it's cool. I'm saying like- Oh, I was going to say. Yeah, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, with that type of mindset that women, some women have, you know, for me as a man would be like, okay, let's just go switch the title. You want to keep the car? Yeah, that's what you I want to say. I might even put this in your name. We can run your credit. You can pay your down payment and you can keep the car. Well, see, that makes sense. But from what I'm getting about the breakup, like it's not a good breakup. Like it's, it's not, they're not at the point where they can sit down and have a conversation. They, they got a mediator. Like, no, you tell him I said, <laughs> like they got a, you know. Yeah, that's, 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 okay, I didn't read up on that. Okay. That's why I was All right. confused. All right. Let's, that's, look, that's rich people business. Let's, let's go back to our tax bracket. <laughs> okay. So topic number three, our friend.